Hello, so I know I'm real late to this, like five months late, but I found this just the other day and I thought, why not share it with you guys? Because you guys seem to like my art. This is some old art. Back from what? Last year's Inktober. I'm also going to take you through my thought process of uh, what I did for each day. So on day one, I uh, drew my original C. As you can see, I um, I wasn't very... Um, my art wasn't as good as it is now because this is a bit ago. Although it's not my worst. But I was also rushed. But I decided on the first day I would do my old... My first OC for the first day. On the second day, I drew this adorable cat with a hat. This is actually a fan favourite in my family because my mum loves this um, drawing. This is her favourite out of all of them and I really like it as well. It's really adorable and also I was stumped for what to draw on the second day so I just decided to draw a cat. On the third day I, uh, I drew all of the miraculous ladybug main um, miraculous is the bee, peacock, the moth, the turtle, the fox, the black cat, and the ladybug. I'm actually kind of proud of how this came out. The bee and the peacock kind of turn, turned out, and the cat one turned out a bit weird, but the others turned out all right. On the fourth day, I drew a bunch of my Marvel OCs, my first four human Marvel OCs, Mortina, Ear, Sarah, and Amanda. I have since added more characters to that list but at the time these were the only uh, four human ones I had. Uh, on day five I drew my Zootopia OC Violet. Um, th these parts here on her leg are supposed to be scars <laughs> not fur and this the other markings on her fur. Uh, so yeah, I was also stumped for that. So whenever I'm stumped for an idea, I usually just draw my OCs. So on the sixth day, I so this was the day before fairy the final season of Fairy Tale came out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to draw Natsu Dragneel for the final season of Fairy Tale. I would have drawn on the seventh, but in a second you'll see why I didn't draw on the seventh because I also had another drawing planned for that weekend. On the seventh. I drew the uh, 13th Doctor because that was also when the new episode, the new season came out for um, Doctor Who with the new Doctor and I really, um, I was excited to see the new Doctor and I thought she looked really cool uh, so I drew her because I've been a fan of Doctor Who since Matt Smith was in there so... On the eighth day, I drew my carnival OC, uh, Higashi, and her cat, Lilac. Once again, I was stumped for ideas on what to draw, so I just drew an OC. That's usually what I end up drawing when I'm, I'm stumped for ideas. On the ninth day, I drew my, one of my miraculous OCs, uh, Dawn, and her Kwame Mindrip. This is her in her civilian form, and this is her superhero form uh, as uh, Wolf Howler. Yeah, we'll follow, that's it. And uh, this is the Miraculous when it is activated and when it's not, and that's the Kwame. She's part blind. That's what that is. Uh, on this tenth day, uh, I drew the Dragon Kwame, um, because at the time I'd made a new Miraculous OC called Mara, who got the Dragon Kwame, because I really like dragons. <laughs> dragons are probably my favourite a mythical creature. So I kind of just he's my favourite Kwame, probably. Um on the t <laughs> This is a funny story behind this drawing. Uh so I you sometimes write some of my fan fictions in a notebook and I have a friend in one of my classes who some who used to read them and read the dialogue out loud and they were reading a line from uh, from my Shadows Reflection, the chapter I wrote in the notebook of Shadows Reflection, and they read a line from Rogue in a Scottish accent, and that was hilarious. And I and at the time this was the eleventh, 
and I was stumped for an idea and I was like, I need to draw this and I actually drew it. I legit had to search up Scottish clothing, but uh, traditional Scottish clothing, but I did get it. And um, in this idea, Sting is the one that made Rogue do, uh, wear the clothes and say a line as a dare. Also, so uh, <laughs> I found that funny. Oh yeah, also I might not have mentioned this, but this is legit just my signature because that's my account name on Tumblr. So I just decided to make that my art signature at this point. Then we got Cat Noir being adorable. I was a bit behind in drawing these. I have an earring of this and I love it. Uh, but I was also a bit behind at this point I by a few days. So when I actually drew this, the episode that Cat Noir got thought he was a cat came out and I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing because Cat Noir is one of my favourite characters alongside Mark. And I was like, oh, I need to draw this. This is amazing and adorable. Um, Oh, <laughs> on the 13th, uh, I was, this is supposed to be planned for the 14th. Because on the 14th, um, it was a day early because I kind of didn't realise I hadn't drawn my 13th one. But it was supposed to be planned for the 14th because on that day, I drew... And I drew... I was at the point in Union of the Night, where, it, which is their book between these two, where they got married on the 14th of October. And I actually legit published the chapter on the 14th of October. I was that dedicated. And basically, uh, Rogue is actually supposed to be like three inches shorter than Starlight because he is five foot nine and she's six foot. I didn't realize this when I drew this. So I've always just said, oh, he's standing on a stool when I show people this now uh, because he was supposed he's supposed to be three inches shorter. And I didn't realize that until I searched up what his height was. Uh, oh, yeah. On the 14th, this was a redraw of an old drawing I drew for one of the characters from Castle Cats uh, on my team, Phantom. This is a redraw. And I believe that the, this one is actually way better than the original. The original didn't have his ear. So, I'm actually proud of this. The 6th, 15th, again, another redraw of this time Stark from also Cast Cats. He did, in my original, he didn't have his wings or his ears in it either, so I added those in, in the, in the redraw. Uh, this one was not a redraw because I didn't have Chroma when I drew the other ones, but I just, I got Chroma uh, from Cast Cats and I was like, I need to draw him as a human. And I drew this, and I'm actually pretty proud of it. Uh, these are supposed to be like the colours on his uh, on his on his fur, and the same with the wings and the tail. This is my How to Train Your Dragon OC turquoise. I had to legit use draw uh, references of Tiflis because I am bad at drawing dragons mm. and other animals. I'm good. At, I'm okay at drawing people. Animals are a bit harder, so I legit used references of Tiflis being adorable. Um, on the 18th, I drew Jay Feather, uh, or what I think Jay Feather looks like, and my OC, Agni. Um, this one's Agni. This, she's black with red, so that's supposed to be red. And this is Jay Feather, uh, with the right colours. Uh, um, oh yes, on the 19th, it was my dog's birthday. And we took her to get a spa treatment, which is where this came from. So I decided way in advance that on the 19th I was going to draw my dog and I'm actually proud of how this came out because this is actually really good for a, a drawing based off of my actual realistic dog because I'm bad at realistic drawings oh uh, this one ended up upside down when I drew it because I accidentally didn't realize I was in a Halloween mood that day so I drew six of my OCs I drew Sakino as a uh, one of my assassination classroom OC's ass class is what I usually end up putting that to when I can't spit it in. She's dressed up as a creepy doll. I've got Mara Fu, who's one of my miraculous OC's as a princess. I've got Yose Suki as a, a, de as a, a zombie from Death Note. I've got Miano Yuro as a vampire. She's from also from Assassination Classroom. Uh, I've got Hannah as a demon. She's from Blue Exorcist. And I've got Sandy as a cat who is from Fairy Tale. Some of my OCs in Halloween costumes, as you can tell. On the, um, on the 21st, I was once again stumped for ideas. So I drew a bunch of my main OCs in Fairy Tale. 
at their actual heights. Th this bean here is the shortest and she's the second shortest. I couldn't fit all of them standing, so I had to make these three set. This is my ex Idosi at Serena, um, Shivani, Yana Gamachi, Narashiko, Iwaki, Hikishi, uh, Sandy, oh, wait, I said Sandy, uh, Mien, Miyara, Kama, and Starlet Red Fox. Oh, and Shivani dragged me out. I mentioned that, but I forgot her surname. Um, on the uh, 22nd, I drew Shivani again, uh, who's the daughter of Mavis and Zeref, as it says up there, and Kadia, the daughter of, of Agnologia. Th um, these two were actually thought up by me and one of my friends after we'd gone to see the Fairy Tale Dragon Cry movie for my birthday when it was in cinemas. And we just kind of, it, I don't know what made me sympathize with Agnologia in the end credit, but. I just did. So then I was like, oh, me and we were all like, oh, maybe we were both like, maybe we should make an OC for, um, um, as the kids. Don't mind the music noise in the background. That's from the living room. <laughs> um, but the, um, we decided that these would be the kids. Uh, we'd make OCs for the kids of, uh, Agnologi and one for D Mavis and Zareth. And this is how they turned out. Uh, <laughs> my adorable little bean, Shivani. This one belongs to my friend, uh, my other friend, so she's not mine, but I was allowed to draw her. This was me drawing all of my animal OCs at the time. I have a couple more now, but I had five at the time that weren't mythological, so I didn't include turquoise. But uh, Mercury from my um, from Bolt, Jay from Scooby-Doo, uh, Agni from Warrior Cats, Ruth from Marvel, and Violet from Zootopia again. Um, my adorable beans. I am very bad at drawing dogs, so I'm sorry for the way that Jay and maybe Mercury look. I'm not that good at animals. I'm still learning. And then on the 24th, I drew my Skylanders OC, Neve. Um, she's basically the same species as Spyro, so I had to use a reference of Spyro for it, and the mouth came out a bit weird, but... Overall, it's pretty good for my one of my attempts at dragon drawing. Then on the 25th, I was summoned for ideas again, so I drew Iwaki Hikishi attempting to flirt. She is a wolf human. She doesn't know how to flirt in the canon of her book. That is why I just decided on this. Um, I used a reference for this pose because I am terrible at doing certain poses other than having hands behind backs. Oh yeah, and I'm also terrible at fingers and hands. And feet. Um, on twenty fifth again, I drew an OC, Mortina, be getting frightened again. I used the reference, and um, <laughs> just I don't know what made me think that this fit this character. I just I wanted to use that one, so I made her frightened. On the twenty seventh, I drew Kat Tamatsuki, my um. Gugur Kokuri san, eh, OC, being annoyed because she usually gets really, in the book, gets annoyed at Kokuri and the other two characters, in Inugami, I think his name is, and the raccoon guy. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. But she usually gets annoyed at them because they, she feels like they just, they're kind of in the way. Um, On the 28th, wait, hold on. Yes, on the 28th, I drew uh, Seato, my Yuri on Ice uh, OC, crying, because she usually gets bullied for uh, being blind, and um, I just figured her crying really fit her character. On the 29th, I drew Ear, one of my Marvel OCs, being excited, because she is almost always excited, and she is just a little cinnamon roll and a bean. My friend, one of my friends agrees with me. She's very innocent as well. <laughs> So, um, I figured this fit her character. On the 30th, I drew Sarah Banner and her daughter, Clara, hugging, because I needed to get some family elements in this adorableness. And then on the last day, I drew a good witch, which was based off of the Halloween costume I wore on the 31st to uh, go out with my family on the holiday. I did have a curl plushie with me, but... This is what I uh, I did, and uh, that's it. Don't mind that. That was a weird hangman I was doing with someone. Well, that's that's it. Have a nice day. Or night, or whatever. Bye!